so much for watching this video if you're new here make sure to like and subscribe that really encourages me a lot so this is going to be part two where i'll be showing the color neckline dress and if you haven't already watched part one i'll leave a description i'll leave a link in the description box below so i'll be using working with this fabric is a velvet and it's stretchy and i'm going to be using just one and a half yard so yeah i've already placed my front pattern and i'll be placing my fabric on fold and the center front will be on the folded part and we'll just be needing one piece of this so after cutting my front pattern i'm going now going to be hem sorry notching my hip depth and i'm also going to be notching my waistline why are we doing this we're doing this so that it will help us when we are joining our front to the back I'm also going to be notching my armhole depth line here and you know why I did this just so I know where my armhole depth is so I'm doing the same thing for my back pattern cutting it on the center back would be on the folded edge because there's not going to be any zip on my own pattern because this fabric is actually very stretchy and doesn't need a zip so this is my back pattern and I've already gone to cut it on fold with the center back on the folded part and I'm also going to be notching the hip depth line and I'm also going to be notching the waistline just like I did for the front. So after doing this I decided to add a facing to the um, back pattern. I tried to add the facing to the back pattern so from the neck depth I came down by 4 inches that's how long I want my facing to be and I'm just going to be cutting this off from my pattern paper so you can trace yours in your new pattern paper if you like but me I just cut it off and I'm not going to be cutting the center back on the folded edge just like I did when I was cutting the back of the dress so now I've placed my facing on the neckline of my back right side facing right side and I'm now going to be sewing using 0.5 inches of sewing allowance okay I've, I've done that guys and I didn't really like the outcome so much because I noticed it was bulging and uh, though it's it's okay it's not really popping out but I would advise that you use a hemming gum to hold it still i even stopped stitched but it wasn't still folding as much as i wanted to be but that's still okay so now here i have my front pattern i have my front body sorry i already have my front of the dress here and what i'm going to do next is you, you see this upper part this line here remember that we came up by our armhole now you know why so we're not going to make that edge meet that end that's my armhole depth over there that's where i notched you remember i notched my armhole depth and i'm just going to be pinning that edge there on my armhole depth and i'm going to do this on both sides now i'll be using this to sew my armhole and i'll be using 0.5 inches of sewing allowance So guys after sewing this is how it looks you will get a kind of pointy edge at the end there and it will fold inside so now i'm going to be placing i'm going to be joining the two hips together and on the table here i have my front and here with me i have my back here with me i have my back and i'm going to be placing the right side of my back on the right side of my front like this I remember that we notched some places so this is where the notch really become very important so I remember that I notched my hip so I'll be making sure that the hip point hip meet the hip at the notched area and I'm also going to be doing the same thing for the waist making sure that the notches meet so this is why i advise you not so that you we know where the error is coming from also i'm going to make sure that the um, armholes armhole depth meets like this and i'll be doing it on both sides so i'm just pinning it down okay so after pinning down and aligning i'm going to be using my 0.5 inches of sewing allowance to sew the sides
So I've already gone ahead to make a strap and I made two of this and the length of my strap is my um, front um, neckline depth plus my back neckline depth. So I added my front neckline depth and my back neckline depth together to get the length of my strap. Remember when we were drafting the pattern, I said I measured the um, depth of my back neckline. So that was the purpose. So here I have my... Um, I have the hip joined together, my back and front joined together like so. And if you notice one side of the hip, I didn't sew it down fully because I decided that I wanted a slit at the side. So I didn't sew it down fully and I'll be hemming that later. So before doing that, we're now going to be fixing our strap. And you see this pointy end here. If you look at your dress or your garment, you're going to see a pointy end two pointy ends what you're going to do is take your scissors and you're just going to create a tiny hole please please make sure that the hole is not too big and is enough to accommodate your strap so i'm not going to take my strap and make it go into the hole like so now after making it go into the hole you're just going to stop stitch it very very close as you can and you're doing it for both sides or both ends so i did it for both ends and this is how it looks okay guys we're almost done with this dress and now we're just going to be working with the back so here i place my dress on my mannequin so that i can determine how i want the cross at the back to be and if you notice i made my strap a little bit longer because my mannequin helps me get the exact strap length that i need but if you don't have a mannequin you can just do what i said by adding your back neck depth and your front neck depth together so this is where i want my cross to be my crossing to be i'm just checking how i want it and i'm going to be taking my chalk and marking those places where i want the strap to be So after marking how I want or where I want my crosses to be, I'm now going to be doing a kind of lazy way of fixing the strap. Please guys, I do not really advise this kind of method, but this is a lazy method. I'm just going to take my scissors and create a uh, tiny hole where I made those points. If you don't want to do like this, you can just decide to open up your, um, your facing and placing it inside. But this is like a very very easy way of doing this and I just decided to do this. I just took my scissors and cut off like a tiny hole just like I did for the front at the places I marked where I wanted my crossing to be. And now I'm just going to be taking one part of the strap making sure that it's not rolled over and I'm going to be placing this into that hole and I'm also going to do the other one and make sure that I get a, a cross and placing it into the second hole and I'm going to be stop stitching so guys after doing that lazy method this is how it looks and I can tell you it's not bad but I feel it's because I use a vivid material that's why it didn't really show that much that I stop stitched it so this is how it looks now we can go on to the next step so remember that i left a um, slit at the side i'm now going to be taking this to my machine and hemming it i'm also going to um, hem the bottom of the dress so let's take this to our machine and hem So guys, after hemming, this is how it looks. Now I'm just going to be stitching this upper part. So guys, this is how it looks. Really, really neat. And now we can go on to the next step. 
well i noticed that my fabric was a bit longer than the others and i don't really know what happened maybe it's when i was cutting i can't be sure so but no problem well, i'm just going to use my scissors to cut that excess part off and make it straight okay i guess i'm okay now with the um bottom of the dress i'm just going to take this to my machine and i'm going to hem the bottom of the dress using the hemming allowance that i added oh my god guys this is how the dress looked my thread was actually skipping when i was hemming this but i'm happy that i was able to achieve it and i can say guys this is so beautiful this it was so simple and very easy to sew and the fabric is just so beautiful i'm going to wear it so you guys can see so this is how it looked on me i used i wore it to go out and i really really loved it i got a lot of compliments so guys i'm going to tell you guys to try this out to those of you that stuck with me to the end i want to say thank you thank you so much if you haven't liked if you haven't subscribed make sure you like and subscribe and this is just me showing off my beautiful velvet cow neckline dress see you next time on my next tutorial bye